I was searching for a quote that may um, add some extra sentiment to this speech, so I looked at books and films that were some of Charlie's favourites. Uh, but it turns out Jurassic Park isn't very romantic. <laughs> And Sister Act 2 isn't much better, so <laughs> scrap that. You well notice that there are no best men here today, and it's because we've said since wedding plans started that we are each other's best men. <laughs> and how true that is. And as cliche as it sounds, you are not only my husband, but you are my best friend. <laughs> we can find fun in literally any situation. We're a great team and we laugh all the time. Charlie, you have an amazing sense of adventure. You're always pulling me out of my comfort zone and I'm always glad to, eventually. <laughs> In the end, thank you for always making me try new things and opening me up to new experiences. I love how Charlie has inherited his hospitable nature from his parents. How if Charlie is hosting, you know you're in good hands and no better example than today. There ain't no party like a petty party. <laughs> You've done amazing. One of my favorite things about Charlie is seeing how he lights up a room. How if you look at people's faces as he greets them, they come to life. And I love seeing it in others because it reminds me of how he makes me feel every second I am with him. And I realised how lucky I am that he has chosen me. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And the most wonderful person in the whole world. Long may we continue to have the best time together, no matter where we are or what we're doing. Long may we continue to make each other laugh until we cry. Long may we continue to nail life together and be a great team. And to everyone I've come to know through Charlie. Firstly, you're a wonderful bunch. And secondly, it is more than easy to understand how special he is to you. I promise to always make sure I do everything I can to make him feel as loved as he makes me feel. So I raise a toast to my wonderful husband, Charlie. <laughs> My Nick. From the first time that I ever saw you, I knew you were the man for me. Admittedly, it was a photo on Sonia's phone of you dressed up as a drag queen. But you know. I can't believe we've done it. We're here, this is it, and it's the start of the rest of our lives to come. You are literally the bright light on this now it's suddenly decided to be rainy day. <laughs> and I'm so lucky to have you by my side. I don't think you can look at Nick and not realise that he's the kindest man in the world and helps everyone be a better version of themselves. My lovely grandma, who's no longer with us, was written about in a James Herriot book and she was described as the kind of woman that makes you want to become a better man. Nicholas, you really are the kind of man that makes me want to be better. <laughs> you always put the needs of others first, and you're always willing to share and never mean to anyone. You really can find a positive spin on any situation. We could be stuck in a train station <laughs> with a four hour delay and you'd say, but at least we get to enjoy Euston. <laughs> this M&S cocktail in a can is delicious. <laughs> I might think someone's a horrible human being and you might go, but they do have nice hair. 
So thank you for always being kind and always keeping me positive. You've not only taught me how to love, you've also taught me how to be loved. So I now invite everyone to please raise your glass, toast to my beautiful husband, Nick, to love and to happiness. So true. 